In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my story of how when I was younger, I did this one thing that helped me double my ability as a footballer. I'm gonna tell you what it is and how you can do the same. That's coming up next. When I'm busy doing totally legitimate things, I rely on one football to give me all the news stories, fixtures, results, and more from the world of football. Download it for free today. What's up guys, Dave here from Simply Soccer where we are releasing at least four videos a week to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. So if you have not already, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any of the content that we release. Now in today, I just wanna tell you almost a little bit of a story about how I took my game really to the next level by doing one simple thing. And of course, there's more components to it than that. But this one simple decision allowed me to grow rapidly as a player. And I wanna share with you what that is and also tell you how you can start doing the same. So what I did when I was 16 is actually advice I give players all of the time. And the reason I give this advice is because doing this allows you to get in flow more often, be more challenged and just improve quicker as a player. And what that was very simply was challenging myself by putting myself on a club team and getting on a club team where players were at my level or better than me. And when we were where we were playing other players who were the same, better than me or at my level. You see what happened, I joined a club team when I was 15 or 16. Um, that was pretty good, but I was probably one of the best players, if not the best player on the team. And you know, we'd beat some teams, lose some games, and it just obviously wasn't enough of a challenge for me to grow as a player. I would have grown a little bit, but I wouldn't have been practicing with players who had ambitions of playing in, the co in college. I wasn't playing with players who really had ambitions of, of moving up levels. And what happened was I ended up playing a game against another club team for my high school actually, and the coach asked me if I wanted to, after playing against them, he was impressed and said, do you wanna come try out for our team? Now it would have been very easy for me just to say, well, I already have a club team, you know, I, I don't want, I wanna stick with them and you know, I don't, I'm comfortable. I don't need to get another club team. But something inside me told me, told me to go for it, to challenge myself and to see if I can push myself to that level. And this decision was helped because my club team did end up playing them and they destroyed us. It was clear how much better they were than us and I wanted to be challenged. I wanted to play with these guys who were just really good and organized and all very skillful and technical and I wanted to grow as a player. So I tried out for the team, I made it, and it was one of the best decisions I ever made to go out for that team because I ended up growing so much in just a summer playing with them. Now I had suddenly gone from a club team that was okay, it was pretty good, it was a comfortable situation, you know, I would have had a lot of fun with them probably and it would have, you know, I would have gotten a little bit better, but they weren't playing many tournaments, they weren't ranked, they weren't doing much. To a club team that was ranked in the state, playing against other state ranked and nationally ranked teams, and going to seven, eight, nine tournaments every single summer, including college showcase tournaments. Did it take more commitment on my part to go to these practices, to go to these tournaments and all of that? Yes. Did it require more work for me individually in my own training so that I could actually start for them and get more game time and be better? Yes. Um, did it require me to work on other areas like my mental game, my fitness and things like this um, that was outside my comfort zone at the time? Absolutely. But do I regret any of that? No, because it quite literally made me double the player I was. You see, there's something that happens when you start training with guys who are more serious. There's something that happens when you start playing with people who are at your level or better. And there's definitely something that happens when you play against high level competition who are also trying to win state ranked tournaments, who are also trying to get into good colleges, who are also trying to push themselves as much as possible. And when that becomes a consistent theme, when you're playing against those players all the time, when you're training with them all the time, when the coach is also a really good coach and he's making you do those things and he's showing you how to improve your game, your game will, it has to improve. It either will improve or you will fall off and you'll be cut from the team or something like that. So for a lot of you who ask me the question, should I stay on a certain team I'm comfortable in and I'll get more game time or should I push myself and go for the better team? I really would encourage you to go for that better team. Yes, not getting any game time is not a situation you wanna be in, but when you're in that situation, you have two options. You give up and complain and ask why you're not in the team or you knuckle down you do the work and you push to get that starting place and more minutes. So really the lesson in this story is playing with better players, playing against better teams, obviously having a coach who is better is going to help you as 
a player more. It can, I mean, it can do so much for you as a player. What you play against, how you practice is going to affect your game massively. So if you get the opportunity to trial for a better team, take it. If you get the opportunity and a, a club coach says, come try out for a team, come trial, come practice with us. Even if you're already on a club team, take it, see if they're better, see if it's a better option. You know, there's loyalty and everything like that, but especially in your teenage years and younger years, there really is no time for you just to stay on a team because it's comfortable or due to loyalty. You need to do what's going to help you improve as a player as much as possible. And if there's a better team that wants you, go for it. Okay guys, so that's my little story about how joining a better club team uh, really elevated my game. You know, there's very few things that will replace playing with quality players and against them, and obviously with a good coaching staff as well. Now, if you don't have that opportunity, of course, stay on your team now, do the best that you can, but if an opportunity like that arises, definitely grab it with two hands. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will put another video on screen. Uh, usually we have the underrated series on this day, but we're gonna replace that series either with something like this or something else. So make sure you tune in again on Monday for another video. Also, we have another video out on Wednesday, so make sure you come back same time on Wednesday for a brand new video. As always, make sure you like this video, you check out my Instagram, which will come up on screen for more content, and I'll see you in the next one.